Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and today I have a very special guest. Emeril Lagasse's here. Emeril Lagasse here. Emeril, I just said that. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, and we're going to make gumbo together. I called Emeril in. He's famous for his Cajun cuisine. So this chicken and sausage gumbo starts with a roux, which is half oil, half flour, no olive oil, no butter in this one. Why? Because we're going to cook this for a long time. Okay, it's going to be cooked for about 20 minutes till we get this nice nutty brown color. And if you don't use regular oil, it might uh, have an off flavor. The butter might burn, etc. So once that's nice and nutty brown color, you're going to turn the heat up to medium low. You're going to add your trinity of vegetables, which is pepper, celery, and onions. Very traditional New Orleans cooking. They call that the trinity. We're going to add some salt. You want to cook this until the vegetables kind of soften and get a little bit tender. It's going to go for about 10 minutes, I'm going to say. After that, you can throw in your andouille sausage, which is a spicy smoked Cajun sausage. Any spicy smoked sausage will work. You're going to throw in some garlic. You're going to throw in some paprika, some black pepper, and some cayenne. What's that thing you say when you throw in the cayenne? Bam! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. All right. So after we put in our spices, you're going to add your stock. I'm going to do about three cups of chicken stock. Now, some people like their gumbos soupy. Okay, I like mine thick. So if you want it to be a little, uh, you know, looser, a little soupier, throw in another cup or two of stock. Let that simmer for a half hour. And once it cooks for a half hour, the vegetables should be tender. Skim the oil off the top as it rises. You're going to add your chicken thighs. Those are cut up, as you see. And those are going to simmer on medium-low for about a half hour until those are tender and cooked. So this is not a quick dish. This dish does take a while. Emerald, I know you prefer, uh, you know, quicker recipes, something a little faster. Maybe you got all day to pound your meat, okay? <laughs> Some of us don't. Huh, that was kind of an odd way to put it. All right, once that's done and thick and cooked, I'm going to add a half cup of chopped green onions that I missed the shot, but they're in there. You can see them. And that is finished. Look how beautiful and luxurious and thick that is. Now, what some people do, which I don't do, is add okra to thicken this. The word gumbo comes from a Spanish word for a West Indian word for an African word for the word okra. So gumbo actually means okra. I'm not a big fan of okra. Emerald, do you like okra? Oh, yeah, babe. I'm going to finish this with some green onions and some Louisiana hot sauce. And that is my gumbo recipe. So easy, so delicious. Uh, it takes a little while to simmer and to make the roux, but totally worth it. Delicious over rice. Emerald, thanks a lot. Before we go, do you have any advice for the young cooks out there? An apron is a great substitute for pants. Wow, that's a great tip. Go to the site to get the ingredients, because I'm sure I missed something. You know, fooling around here with Emerald. And as always... BAM! No, not BAM. As always, enjoy. Enjoy.